Alien Workshop is the company that I rode for my entire career. Oh, shit. Right? This yeah. is Alien Workshop skateboard. God almighty, George. What? What has he done? Okay. What is, what wait, wait, hold done, on. George? It comes with a story. Go ahead. Okay. Right. And so this, why are you going to, what are you going to no, burn? No, no, wait, I'm what nervous. are you guys doing? You about to burn it? I'm nervous for you. So I'm, I was there when I was like 14 years old and helped name, pick the name, right? It was Alien Workshop based off of Massive. Project Blueprint and uh, Project Blue Book and Hangar 18 at the Wright Patterson Air Force Base in, in Dayton. Helped pick the name Alien Workshop, like went on to be pro for it for 20 years. It got acquired by Burton. And then I bought the company from Burton, right? And so it was like every advisor I had was like, this thing burns money and this is a hornet's nest. This is one of the worst businesses. This is not <laughs> something you could buy. And so I'm like, I didn't understand business. I didn't care. It was like, I got a TV. I'm going to elevate the brand and take it to the next level. Like, like went to this big, you know, Zoomies. I don't know if you guys have ever been to the Zoomies 100K, like big Zoomies 100K announced that I'm going to buy the company back, bring it back to the culture. And then the entire company imploded and like, like literally like went out of business under my management and all the pro skaters quit on me. Like it, like literally I spent like, you know, Two, and two million to buy it and like four million to operate it. Like all this money, lost all this money. And because I did it out of like, I wanted people to be like, oh, he came and saved the alien workshop. And I ended up taking the company and giving it back to the original owners, like took the L on everything so that they could just keep it. I bought a bunker in Ohio to move it back to Ohio and gave the company to the original founders so that they could just operate a lean, profitable business themselves mm -hmm. since they had sold it away already. And then that was sort of like shaking my hands of like, okay, like you are not, you are not skate anymore. Like you are, uh, you have evolved beyond it. Yeah, uh, it's like that was, and that was the same time as that 360 deal. When I, I, when I look at this board, you know what I think about? I think about we're in the stages that you were here. Yeah. So it's kind of cool that you just dropped some wisdom on us. And, yeah, uh, yeah. We 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 have a, a segment as of yesterday. It was George's idea yep. that we get memorabilia related to each guest and have them sign it. Yeah. If you're okay with signing the skateboard, of course. Oh, um, I really appreciate that. Sorry, what do we do with the stuff now? I, that was the one. We haven't. We turn it into oh, NFTs. Uh, yes. <laughs> 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 and then we just make millions. <laughs> we make millions. <laughs> Wow. Ladies 10 out of 10. 10 this, out of 10. This is a 10 bro. out of 10 podcast. <laughs> Literally. Hey there, if you like the clip, make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right.